Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the question is, how do we know if an object carries charge or not? How will we get to know whether an object is electrically charged or not? So we understood the concept. I hope you have understood that when is an object charged? So when it has excess electrons or when it has less electrons, only then it is charged. But the question is, we cannot see electrons, protons with our naked eyes. So how do we get to know that, okay, this object is electrically charged and this object is not? So for that purpose, we have a very simple device which tells us in a very simple way that the object is electrically charged or not. So this device is called electroscope. So let us see what is electroscope and how it works. So it is a device to test if an object is carrying a charge or not. So it will not really tell you whether the object is carrying a positive charge or a negative charge, but at least it will tell you whether the object is carrying a charge or not. So it, it will actually distinguish an object into two sections, a charged object or uncharged object. So this much distinction it can give you. So let us see how exactly electro electroscope works now there are many different types of electroscope one very common type of electroscope is gold leaf electroscope so this is what i have shown here and i'll explain you the functionality of gold leaf electroscope so let us first look at the construction of this gold leaf electroscope it consists of a vertical metal rod so here you can see a metal rod here this vertical rod so this vertical rod is made up of brass. So this is a vertical rod made of brass. Okay. So now if you see here from this vertical rod, there are two parallel strips of thin flexible gold leaf. So you can see here two leaf like structures. So these leaves are nothing but they are made up of the metal gold. So these are gold leaf and that is why this electroscope is called gold leaf electroscope and these two strips they are like extremely thin and they are kind of located parallel to each other. Now there is a disc which is located to the top of the rod so this top of the rod is actually connected to this disc which is located above and what is the purpose of this disc so this disc actually provides a platform where the object for which you want to test so this object as i said it will help to test you whether an object is charged or not so that object is brought in contact with this di disc directly and the disc is in contact with the brass rod and the brass rod is in contact with the gold leaves so that is how the arrangement is now what happens is, let us suppose this is the object for which you want to know whether it is charged or not. So what you have to do, just beat this or strike this object on the disc. Now what happens when the object is struck on this disc? So now let us assume that the object, this object for which we want to test, let us say that this object is positively charged. So in that case, as soon as you bring it near this disc, what will happen? Negative charges will be, the electrons will tend to come on the outer side because opposite charges attract each other. Correct? So now these negative charges will be coming here. Now when negative charges will be coming here, what will happen? There will be attraction. Now when all the negative charges are coming this side, what will happen to the positive charges? They will tend to move to the other side. Now as a result, the same positive charges will be seen on these metal leaves, that is the gold leaves, correct? Now when both the gold leaves are having positive charges, what do you expect the leaves to behave like? Now like charges repel each other, so the leaves will tend to move away from each other. As I've mentioned before also that these leaves are extremely thin. Now when they are very thin and light, so they are like very easily, they can come near each other, they can go away from each other. So when both of them will carry light charges, they will tend to repel each other. So 
whenever this object which is under test if that object is carrying a charge in that case the same charge for example here the object is positively charged so the gold leaves are also getting positively charged in case this object would have been negatively charged in that case this would have been positive charge and again this would have been negative charge so in that case also the negative charges would have repelled each other so in any case whenever this object is charged in that case the gold leaves will also have like charges so if it is positively charged the gold leaves will have like charges that is positive charges and therefore the leaves will repel so how how will this electroscope tell us that the object under test is charged or not whenever the leaves separate from each other that would mean the object is charged so whenever the leaves the gold leaves separate away or they repel away from each other that would indicate that the object under test is charged and if the leaves do not separate then that would mean that the object is not charged now do you understand how these charges are basically getting conducted the charges are getting conducted through the metal conductors because metal conductors will allow the charges to flow through them right so the charges are basically coming to the disc from the disc it is conducted through this terminal and the metal rod finally reaching the leaves so therefore the leaves are getting the same type of charge as is present on this object so this is how an electroscope works now let us suppose what will happen if this object is neutral i mean if this object is not carrying any charge so in that case there will be no charge which will be coming here and as a result the leaves will not separate now another example or another thing that you can observe is instead of touching the disc with this object if you try to touch the terminal with your finger with your skin what will happen now human body is a good conductor so whenever you touch it with your finger the charges will get a path so the charge will immediately flow through the human body and it will go to the earth and as a result the gold leaves will lose all the charges that it had acquired and the gold leaves will close together so they will no more separate away from each other so that's how the gold leaves will lose the charge which it had acquired in this fashion so basically you understood the working of electro microscope it with the help of these metal leaves in this case it, it is the gold leaf yeah, whether they are separating or not looking at that you can yeah, tell whether the object is carrying charge or not now we you can yourself also try to design a very simple electroscope for yourself so all that you would need for that purpose is an empty bottle as you can see here an empty jar or bottle you need a piece of cardboard as you see here this is a piece of cardboard so just cover it or place it over the mouth of the bottle you need a wire so what can be used as that wire maybe you can make use of this paper clip so the paper clip just straighten the paper clip and then put it like this through a hole made in the cardboard and from the paper clip like how in case of the gold leaf microscope you had the gold leaves now here instead of the gold leaves what you can have is aluminum foil strips so you would have seen the aluminum foil paper which is very easily available in your kitchen so just make two thin strips of aluminum foil so these are aluminum foil strips so these are also quite light and they can very easily come together they can go away from each other so that's how it, they can uh, do it so now what do you do so this is the free end of the metal wire so the charge object has to be brought in contact to this metal wire so let us suppose we bring a charged object here so let us say this is an object which is already charged so whenever you bring and bring it near this metal wire so the charge will get conducted through the metal wire and it will reach the aluminum strips now when the aluminum strips receive the same type of charge they will tend to move away from each other so when they move away from each other you get an indication that this object is electrically charged because the foil receives the same charge from the charged object through the paper clip because this is your paper clip this one is the 
paper clip right so that that's how you can design a simple electroscope for yourself thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again